Welcome back to another video. Uh, today me and my buddy Noah are heading out uh, to do some fishing. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can get on some fish. My buddy Braden was out uh, yesterday and managed to hook some fish. Uh, so we're going today uh, to see if there's any see if there's any fish moving. So tag along and uh, let's see how we do. Mr. Gillian got a new wib. New rig, but man, are you sad of it, old Civic? Oh, I don't know. She, she <laughs> served me well, doesn't she? She served me well. I need to get a new vehicle now. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. Supper dog. <laughs> so that there is actually a tornado siren, from what I know. It goes off twice. And years ago, uh, when the men would be working in the woods around Deer Lake area, when they heard the 12 o'clock whistle, it was time for dinner. And when they heard the six o'clock whistle, and it was quitting time, I guess you could say. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. So it's pretty cool how, how that tradition and the siren has carried on throughout the years here in Deer Lake. Matt Baker, if you're watching, orange and gold. So in Newfoundland, uh, in the ice fishing season, it, uh, it says in the rules and regulations that if there's open water, uh, you can fish with a rod and a reel from shore or boat. So right now we're on open water and uh, we're gonna fish away. So this uh, big body water behind us uh, is actually a man-made canal. Uh, years and years ago, they dug this uh, from Grand Lake, which I don't know the distance from, from here to Grand Lake. Hook up. I was like, what do I got here? So yeah, uh, years ago, like uh, they dug this here with an old steam excavator. I don't know if that's actually the name for it, uh, but it was all run on cables and that, not like today's excavators are run with hydraulics and that. And they, they dug all this out. I don't know, I'm not sure how deep it is, uh, but that's just to bring water from Grand Lake, which is the largest uh, body of water in Newfoundland. So that's what supplies uh, the corner of pulp and paper. So a lot of Newfoundland uh, pulp and paper mills actually have closed down over the years uh, due to like, if I'm not mistaken, uh, like the cost of running it and stuff, but where they generate their own power here in Deer Lake, send it down to Corner Brook. That's why, if I'm not mistaken, Corner Brooks has lasted so long. That's your bit of, uh, of Deer Lake history for today. <laughs> We'll start the snow here now, and uh, we're gonna get a fire started. We got 
Uh, no axe, no saw, no nothing. Just a few matches. So we're gonna test our uh, fire making abilities here today. <laughs> Snowing pretty good there for a little bit, but it's dying off a little bit now, so uh, yeah, we'll see it. Oh, there goes the worm. From the hip? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Well, the fishing is uh, pretty slow today, but still a nice evening to get out. Snow falling and all. <laughs> Something to do. So Noah's gonna be going to Labrador for work. Uh, he tried to cross the ferry how many times? Three times. Three yeah. times. Uh, but there's a lot of ice in the straits. Uh, once he was out there, he sent me a video and uh, uh, the icebreakers was in front of him because they got stuck. <laughs> Had a pretty big hit then. Holy cow! Pretty big hit then. See that? Yeah. I'll give him Every man. Well, after getting nutting uh, all evening, me and Noah were just talking, and my uh, my rod bent. My rod tip bent right over. Uh, so now we're gonna fish with a little more uh, seriousness here now. <laughs> yeah. Let me go on the other side here. Yeah. Can't see the rod. Trout. Oh, yeah. uh, actually. No. It's dark one. <laughs> Darkest one I've ever seen in my life. Man, he's dark, isn't he? It is pretty dark. Well, that was a bit hectic. Uh, me and Noah was just chatting there, and uh, I felt I had one on. So with that, everything, everything had to be done. We had to, I had to get the camera in my pocket, give it to Noah, so you could record a bit. Uh, tried on hooking. Uh, I hooked him pretty good. Yeah, nice. Got one fish out of it. I was praying, Lord, give me one fish. That's all I want. <laughs> Just getting ready to head out there now, it's getting a little dark and the snow is uh, picking up again. But we managed to get one fish out of it, so it's never a failed trip when you get some fish. <laughs> never a failed trip anyway, but a fish is just a little added bonus. So yeah, we're going to get ready, head back out now.
All right, well, it's getting a little dark here now, but you, you can't really, you probably can't see it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that does it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. It was a good day. Caught one fish, had a nice little fire, and uh, any excuse to get outside is a good excuse. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.